Welcome everybody to IgniteBST.com and in this video I want to talk about the new update V1.7 for HeatUp Workstation. So as you can see HeatUp Workstation runs now in FL Studio 1264 bit before we had a crazy GUI bug or whatever we couldn't know because when we have developed HeatUp Workstation FS Studio 12 wasn't released, it's just out like two weeks or something like this, I don't know. Um, also, we fixed the preset browser, now when you save a project and reopen it, the preset browser will show you what instruments you have used. Um, also what's new, you now can save your uh, custom sequences or custom made ARPs by let's say you have painted something in here all you have to do is you click save choose a folder um, let's say custom and give it a name boom and there it is you can open it now um, yeah um, also we could improve the audio quality of the VST um, you can improve the audio quality by, by selecting ultra or low or high or whatever and then you can save it. Let's say you want to go with ultra, select ultra and then say save, boom and now it um, pops up all the time with the ultra settings when you open up the VST. The same for the skins, when you select the skin and you save the skin, the VST always pops up with the skin you have saved. Um, yeah, so um, I think I think we, we have everything. I want to make this video uh, short. I don't want to um, make it that long. Let me play some stuff here. This is too deep. I've seen some guys uh, on YouTube or whatever making uh, or posting beat making videos and stuff like that or showing off some beats they made with Heat Up Workstation and that's really dope that's exactly what we want to uh, what we want to see we want to see how you use the vst um what you make with it and stuff like that but there was one thing the most uh, guys i've seen they didn't use the filter and um i think some guys still don't have understand what well, how powerful the filter is and I didn't explain it the right way, I think, when I made the first video presentation of Heat Up Workstation. So um, let me show you real quick um, what you can do with it. Let's say we have this sound and we bring in a low pass filter, have set it to like 50% or whatever. And now let's bring in some resolution. You, do you hear that it's completely different? Before it was a piano. 
And now it's this. So, um, you can do crazy things with the filter, play around with it, um, yeah, it's definitely worth, worth to use it because you, you can transform sounds into something completely different. Yeah, um, this beat is from the um, Instant Heat V1 Construction Kit available at IgniteVST.com um, Inside this um, construction kit there are also the FLP files So uh, if you have this kit, you just open the FLP file and boom You have this beat completely finished um, you can change stuff modify stuff uh, you have the MIDI uh, uh, files inside the pack you have the wave track outs inside the pack you have everything um, yeah everybody that um, has purchased the heat up workstation um, head over to ignitebst.com go to my account download the update v1.74 heat up workstation when you install the update the installer will ask you if you want to overwrite files say yes to all or confirm it by saying yes overwrite all files and you're good to go if you made it the right way you can see it here in the information screen the VST will um, tell you that it's running on V1.7. Yeah, and um, at this point, I want to thank everybody that has uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel or our YouTube channel, that has uh, subscribed to our Facebook page, um, that that has supported this project. And guys, you're really awesome. And um, the first expansion pack is coming really really soon so um, you can be really excited about it and yeah really thank you so much everybody for your support and everything um, it it's really it, it means a lot to us really it's really uh, awesome okay thank you guys um, have a nice day and yeah, bye.